Hey, hey, everybody, this is a review revolution coming at you with a Masters of the Universe Classics review. Now, some of you are probably looking, going, What, what, what? Now? Did I miss it? No, no. Um, this is actually a request on a figure, which uh, I'll say now if, uh, if you've got a request and I've got it, I'll be happy to do it. Uh, this is uh, obviously from the, uh, from the later end of the 2009 run, uh, a la the White Mailbox. Uh, biggest difference between the ones at the end of the year and, of course, the newer ones now are the missing names on the box. But it's kind of interesting because uh, the figure started with just the figure on card, white mailer box, now white mailer box with name on it. Uh, personally, I would like to see the next step being a white mailer box with a window on it so you can see the figure through your white mailer box. And then we can get a mailer box for our mailer box and see how far it goes. <laughs> so, I can't wait. This is great. I love it. But uh, taking a look today, we've got the Master of Escape Web Store. Web Store being, of course, the spider dude. Or the, uh, the uh, arachnid race representative for the Masters of the Universe. Uh, you can see him there, just like in his vintage figure. Kind of uh, open... No armor chest, which I I I like this as as far as I like the idea. I hope Evil Lynn comes packed this way. I really do. I've got high hopes we'll see Evil Lynn packaged uh, uh, without her armor on. But um, uh, otherwise, you can see the armor down there, and you can see Web Store Evil Master of Escape figure. Uh, everything on the pack the same as the um, um, figures. All the other figures got the lightning on the bubble. Got the stone in the background, got the traditional dimple, so on and so forth. On the back, all the figures that are listed here, all of them are already out. Happy to say I've got all of them. Very nice. Now, Web Store probably... I, I, I'll go into the bio on him, but... Again, I'm not all that keen on the bios, especially the real names. And I think, as as clever as this one is, I'm just, I don't know, I think this is what really turned me off to him. We've got Web Store, real name, Arrhenius, son of Rachnus. <sighs> yeah, okay. Um, one of the last remaining members of the ancient Eternian race of spider warriors called the Arachnia. Uh, Webstore was awoken from his hibernation beneath Snake Mountain and occasionally allies himself with Skeletor. In ancient times, the Arachno were advanced, or were an advanced, dominant race until driven underground by the Snake Men. Arrhenius retained much of his knowledge of his people, and while seemingly savage, he is an expert mathematician and, stra and strategist, as well as an accomplished escape artist. He often arms himself with a grappling hook, Fa grappling hook, fast pack, and uses his climbing power to escape capture. So, you know, <laughs> I can't help getting the feeling that uh, that uh, with Mr. Miracle, which, by the way, if you are interested in him, there's a review up on him, and uh, his DC name, Scott Free, for an escape artist, Scott Free, uh, they felt they had to do something kind of clever for the Mass of the Universe escape artist, and came out with Arrhenius, son of Arachnus. Whatever. <laughs> but uh, taking a look at the figure, one of the things I'm going to mention as soon as we get him out of the pack, or we're going to talk about real quick, is kind of the uh, the style of the figure and and, uh, and the sculpt of him. But uh, let's go ahead, pop him out of the pack, get a closer look, and have some fun. Be right back. All right, well, now that we have Web Store out of the pack, one of the things that people are complaining quite a bit about on this line, and just taking this opportunity to throw in my two cents, is the fact that Mattel and the Four Horsemen are recycling and reusing body parts. <sighs> yes. I, I mean, obviously. Uh, from the vintage figures of He-Man being a... or, or the He-Man figure, uh, it, most of those figures were reuse of the previous figures. I mean, some as blatant as Merman and Stinkor. Some were that blatant. So, for uh, for us to see uh, a, a a complete redo or at least a, a some recycle of figures, I think that that's to be expected. This is Masters of the Universe, and this is based on Divinity Line. 
But yes, you can see that it, this is the same Skeletor arm. It is the same Skeletor leg and foot. You know, different, uh, different uh, um, lower torso. Uh, but I mean, certainly, I don't expect a fresh new mold for every character that's coming out. That just wouldn't be feasible. Uh, for the most part, Web Store. I don't want to stand up over there. Web Store, for the most part, cool looking character. Uh, like I said before, with uh, the uh, King Randor and the Battle Armor He Man, was that uh, the size of their torsos, the armor they wore, made them look like their legs and arms were actually a little bit shorter and stubbier, and therefore a little bit more vintage like. Here, Web Store doesn't look stubby, he doesn't look smaller, but just by virtue of how he is made, he looks like his vintage counterpart. This is a really great example of how Mattel and the Four Horsemen have updated this line and still being able to keep, you know, the and identify uh, uh, the characters uh, it's from. Uh, the face. Now, going back to the to uh, to the Webster character from the from the very beginning. Uh, he never looked very spiderish to me. You know, he's got his fangs, but if they had given him something more like, you know, predator mandibles, and instead of kind of this bat-like nose, this pushed-up nose, just maybe a little bump of flesh, I think that could have done quite a bit to give him more of a spider look. But looking at his face, comparing it to uh, the Webster or the Vintage line, that's spot on. That's, that's almost exactly right. Certainly a different kind of plastic, but still... You know, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful interpretation um, on his uh, on his uh, articulation because he is a reuse of Skeletor. He's got the twist on the shoulder, bicep, elbow, and wrist. Got his crunch and twist at the waist. The paint on the belt was uh, kind of hindering this twist, so you did have to be real careful when breaking that paint. Uh, um, that paint on there so that you didn't hurt the figure. So that was actually pretty bad. Uh, the leg does come up, out, bend the knee, boot, and foot. So all the articulation you come to expect. His backpack, uh, on his pack, he does now actually have the four spider arms to give him the eight, the eight appendages. And definitely helps him look a little more uh, uh, spider-ish. Uh, this is very much in line with the other, or with the uh, web store from the 2002 series. My only complaint with them is I wish they had been a little bit longer. Uh, I think these are a little, actually a little stubby. I think uh, this, they, they would have been nicer if they'd been maybe, you know, maybe about just a little bit longer. Uh, his hook. Now he does come with his blaster, which I'm not going to get into a whole lot. He's got his little blaster, uh, kind of very similar to the one he had with the uh, with the vintage figure, but you know, nothing nothing too. Nothing too spe spectacular. The hook is, I think, the thing that everyone kind of remembers. This one is a very soft plastic. So, number one, number one, soft plastic hook. If it's straight up and down, it's fine. Uh, if it's actually hooked off of something, like if you're ho hooking it like this, fine. If you're hooking it like this, not so good. Uh, so, the, uh, a new hook for Web Store on a re-release. Good idea, or good reason to do a re-release, I should say. Reason number one to do a re-release, let's say that. Um, the, the line doesn't retract into the pack. Uh, it doesn't really do anything, so I just kind of wrap it around there, and it keeps it out of the way. Now, what pe uh, most people will remember is that when you pull up this little peg, or this little tab, he would actually have a pulley system that would pull him up the, uh, up the line. Not so in this one. Uh, we know that there's not going to be any action features on these figures, uh, but I think that putting a pulley system in his accessory, in his backpack, was something that certainly could have been done, and reason number two for a re-release on Web Store. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'd be happy to see them do another one of him. I'd like to see them really kind of give him a little bit better treatment. But for the most part, he's still not bad. He's still a, a pretty good figure, and one that I knew we were going to get sooner or later anyway, and because we did have all the parts from Skeletor, I expected that we would see more sooner than later. For those keeping track, uh, take the insert and tape down the tabs. And you've got the 
web store stand or way to display your figure. For now, that's been the Review Revolution, taking a look at the Master Universe Classic Web Store. Rate, comment, subscribe, join the revolution, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. So the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again.